So the name of Mr. Robert Miller is Mud. What a fool I was. What do you mean, was? Permit me, sir. But there was that angel, slaving her life away in that office for 30 bob a week. <laughs> All day long stamping things. I'll bet that stamp weighed a ton. I couldn't bear to think of it. Of course you couldn't. So up went her money and bang went her reputation. Oh, I ought to be kicked. Well, Miss Hart to see you, sir. To see me? Yes, sir. She says she's from the factory and would you be kind enough to see her? Good Lord. Who did she ask for? Mr. Robert Miller, sir. That's funny. Is it? Well, of course it is. Why? She hasn't come to see me. She's come to see me. Oh, I see. She's come to see Robert Miller, the boss. Oh. Not Bob, the chauffeur. I say it's a bit awkward, isn't it? What had I better do? I don't know. But do you mind if I watch? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Show Miss Hart in. Yes, sir. Mr. Miller will see you, Miss. Do you think he will mind my coming to see him? He may, and again, he may not. Mm -hmm. I'm a little frightened, you know. What is he like? Good as gold, Miss. When he gets his own way, and if he's crossed, he's a bit odd. Oh, I see. What you want to do with him is use tact, like I do. Miss Hart, sir. Good afternoon. Why did you do it? Do what? When I asked why my salary was raised, they told me it was by your orders and, and then they laughed. I don't see why you should let that worry you. Tell them to buy their own business. I, if I choose to raise an employee's salary, I suppose I can. At the factory, they say you must have reason for it. It's nonsense. Never set eyes on you until now. Well, then why did you do it? What? Why did I do it? I... Let me see. I, why, uh, Why did I do it? Uh, sit down. Let me see now. Why, uh, why did I do it? Oh, reports, yes. I remember. There was a special mention of the excellent work you'd done. Yeah? Hmm. I was informed that in the whole factory there was no one as good as you at... By the way, what, what do you do? Stan. Stan? Yes. Oh, Stan. Oh, most important work. For hundreds of letters, and if the stamps weren't stuck on properly... Oh, no. Oh, no, not that sort of Stan. No. I do it like this. Look. Say, that's rather difficult, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> You could learn it. Could I? Mm -hmm. Try. Oh, thank you. Now, one, two, three, four. <laughs> one, two, breathe, four. <laughs> there you are, and uh, that's why I increased your salary. So you are pleased with me? Mm. Extraordinarily. And... Uh, would you do something to make me very happy? You bet. Reduce my salary again. On one condition. That you let me give you a little dinner one night. To, to celebrate the reduction in salary. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Come along. <laughs> it isn't every employer who reduces his workers' money the moment they ask him. <laughs> a quiet little dinner, eh? Better say yes before I change my mind. Oh, yes, of course, tact. Huh? I mean... Yes, very well. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> well? Mm, not bad. I've uh, I've reduced her salary for her. Yes, I saw you doing it. All that stamping business was quite unnecessary. A little mild flirtation never did anyone any harm. Oh, and what makes you think she might care for a little mild flirtation? She's a girl. She isn't. What? Oh, uh, she's different. Why, dear fellow, she has got Pete F's. Because she lets you drive her around in that car, do you think she wouldn't go out with anybody else who asked her? I know she wouldn't. Well, I know she would. I've asked her. She's promised to dine with me. What? Oh. Well, I, I expect she thought that... Um... She thought I was her boss. And a much better bet than a chauffeur. That's what she thought. 
Oh, come on, Bob, snap out of it. After all, she's only just another girl. Don't let her make a fool of you. You're the fool. All right, all right, don't lose your temper. Look here, do you seriously think she wouldn't chuck you over, Bob the chauffeur, for me, Robert Miller, the boss? I don't think. I know she wouldn't. Why, of course she would. She wouldn't. All right, we'll see. One, two, three, four, five. Five weddings in one day. Not so bad, isn't it? Well, it's the spring, you know. And twelve christenings on Tuesday afternoon. Yes, that's from last oh, spring. Twelve. There you are, sir. Fifteen pounds ten for you, and fifteen pounds ten for me. We're making our fortune, my boy. <laughs> Thank you. Shall I ask you now? Yeah. Mr. Hart. I suppose there'll be no objection to my taking Vera out into the country on Saturday afternoon? No, 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 I don't think so. She is rather fond of scenery. And how far are you intending to go? Uh, uh, well, we really hadn't made up our minds, Mrs. Hart. Oh, so you fixed it up with Vera already? No, 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 it's going to be a surprise for Vera. She taught me so. We were very late bringing her home the last time. Oh, you won't be late, my boy, will you? No, I promise I won't. Oh, very well. If she wants to go, I suppose she can. Oh, that's awfully good of you, Mrs. Hart. And you needn't trouble to keep on bringing me bunches of violets. I know what you're after. I'm nobody's fool. Mr. Hart, would you mind if I went and had another look at that Chinese god you have in the shop out there? Another? Certainly, my boy, certainly. I'm only too delighted. Thanks. It's one of my favorite pieces. Oh, thanks. Excuse me, darling. Oh, Mrs. Hart. And on Saturday, we are going somewhere lovely. Who's we? Me and my car. I see. Just you and your car. Oh, and a friend. Where are you and your friend going? To the carnival at the Crystal Ring Hotel. It's about 50 miles. Well, he's taking her out again. Oh. Crying won't stop him and it only makes your nose red. They're going on Saturday. How do you know? Well, I saw them talking, so I... Oh, well, a little bird told me. Well, he ought to be ashamed of himself going about with an employee. It would serve him right if someone saw him. Yes. Where's he taking her? They're driving down to the Crystal Rink Hotel. Henry, would you like to drive me down to the Crystal Rink Hotel? Do you mean that, Anne? Yes, I do. And when I get there, I shall make it my business to meet them face to face. And I shall say to him, <laughs> good evening, Mr. Robert. But I shall just give her one look. I just remembered I can't drive you there. I've broken my differential. That doesn't matter. We're going. 